Well, let me tell you about 1984. And I am, um, as everyone well knows, considered something of an India basher. I've told people that it depends on where you lived in India and when. I first lived in Punjab in 1980-81. I was teaching at, at Chandigarh at the Punjab University on a Fulbright Fellowship. Um, and at that time, I got to know quite a bit about uh, Amritsar, about Sikhs, and about Punjab in general. Um, I, in 1984, I went to um, Southeast Asia as a correspondent, um, and I was based in Bangkok, but I, I kept coming back. And in fact, I was in China when Mrs. Gandhi was shot. I was not there for the attack on the Golden Temple in Amritsar early in 84, but I came back for Mrs. Gandhi's funeral and for her death. In other words, I flew back the day she mm -hmm. was shot. Um, and I saw with my own eyes what happened in Delhi. I went across the Transyumna colonies and I saw, I saw people who had been set on fire alive and were just left as charred remains. I saw sandals where there had been people and I saw at Delhi station, old Delhi station, Sikhs with their heads scalped, um, lying dead on trains. And I, I thought that no one would ever see what looked like a small picture of partition repeated again. Mm -hmm. And I know that for those three days, it seemed that no one was in charge of Delhi. And the, the massacres that took place uh, all over town. When I was writing a little book about India, when I came back some years later, by chance that week that I was finishing the chapter on that I remembered from 84, uh, the Chilean uh, Reconciliation Report came out. And I realized that in those three or four days in Delhi, more Sikhs were killed than all the Chileans who died or disappeared in 18 years under Pinochet. Now, the interesting thing is that no official in India has ever paid that price. And so when people say to me, why are you so gratuitously critical? I, 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 that's the first example I use. That, um, in fact, Mr. Narasimha Rao, who was then Home Minister and therefore in charge of law and order, went on to become Prime Minister. And uh, there are many other people, we all know them in government, uh, who have really never been brought to task. Thank <laughs> you.